Hey guys, before I get into the video, just wanted to let you know that we just went live with our BBS wheel giveaway. So if you pick up one of these sweet shirts, front has the BBS, back has the old classic BMW on some BBS wheels, you can get entered in to win a free set of BBS wheels. We've been working on this one for a long time. We're super stoked to have this shirt. I absolutely love it. And of course, you can send in a postcard if you want. Plus, we'll be making a donation to the United Way. So if you do pick up a t-shirt, every single time we get one of those, you're able, we're able to make a donation to the United Way. So description link will be below for you guys to check it out. Otherwise, enjoy the video. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Alex from Fitment Industries, and uh, we are on another episode of the automotive version of Unbox Therapy, where they refuse to give me any sort of sharp object, and instead I have to open up BBS boxes with a flathead. And I was gonna do the slap chop joke, but the boxes are really nice and worth more than I can handle. So, today we actually have something that's very interesting. We have BBS wheels that we will be unboxing. So, before we get into it, there's a couple fun facts that you guys are gonna wanna know for if you end up being on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and they ask you, uh, what color box does BBS use for their wheels that are produced from Japan? And the answer would be black. Red, Germany. Black, Japan. So we're gonna start off with this one over here and I'm gonna try and open it up as nicely as I can. By the way, if you guys are interested in a <clears throat> BBB, BBS box, uh, not boxes, but BBS wheels, and you're listening to Alex talk for a sales plug, pitmanindustries.com, you know what I'm saying? It'd be very nice if you guys would wanna go check those bad boys out. But we are going to go into the first wheel here, and I wanna make sure I open this as nicely as possible so I don't mess it up. 23 years this wheel's been made. I'm looking at my cheat sheet down here, so I don't even pretend that I know what I'm talking about, but I do. So 23 years, this is the LM. We're gonna take a look into it. I'm gonna take this off. Ooh, that was very easy, actually. This is my favorite, one of my favorite, if not my favorite wheel of all time. I'm not even gonna show it to you guys first. I'm gonna look at it by myself. And then, I'm gonna show it to you. All right, I feel like you know this design so much that I really don't need to talk about it that much. But I'm gonna anyway, because it's a 23 year old design. It's iconic, it's timeless, it's everything that you would want in a wheel and then some. So two piece forged, as you can tell, not fake rivets, actual hardware. Don't even give me that. And I'm gonna open up the uh, center cap because this is the most exciting thing. Now, if you guys didn't know, BBS actually has things to keep them looking, not looking, it's the things that keep them who they are. And one of the things that you guys may have noticed is sometimes people do have a tendency to really like BBS so much that they just take the whole design and just run with it and pray nobody notices. So BBS does notice and they do little things to make sure that when you are picking up BBS wheels, you're picking up authentic, real BBS wheels. And this one is no exception. So their center caps, which are to die for, for most people. I remember we did this with our E32, finding BBS center, uh, actual center caps was very difficult. This has a holographic, like 3D, nice little shimmer to it. It's so nice. And it's a two piece forge wheel with this. It's like, what more could you want? Now, I don't want to pain myself to putting the center cap in. So if it does take a long time, the editors will make it look like I did this in the first try. So these things come in pretty much every sizing, every width you could possibly imagine, pretty much all your five lug applications you could possibly want. 17 by 20, probably the largest you can go, and then up to an 11 and a half wide in terms of width. But since it's a two piece forge, you can pretty much get it in any anything that you need it to. That's one of the joys. And the fact that it's forged, two piece, nice and light, nothing too crazy. One thing I really do enjoy is when you look on the back of the wheel as well though, you're still gonna see them cut into the weight in terms of the back pad there, which is very nice, very clean setup. One thing I do really like that I will say that I think is a little bit different from most is with hardware, with multi-piece hardware, it has become extremely common for people to essentially, there you go, now we can stare at it nicely. People have gotten used to putting a ton of hardware on their wheels, like a ton, like 50 some pieces worth of hardware. And not only is that very heavy, but I feel like sometimes it can be just a little bit much. And what I really like about this is that nothing is overbearing on the design. So nothing takes away from something else to make the wheel look good. So what I'm talking about is like the lip doesn't take away from the face. The face doesn't take away from the hardware. The hardware doesn't take away from the design. The design doesn't take away from the uh, center cap. Like nothing takes anything away from each point, which is I think what makes the wheel so iconic. I think that's why the wheel stands against time so very, very well. And I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna put this over here. I'm done talking about it. We're gonna move on to 
this over here. So we're gonna open up, this one is the CCR. Now, you guys may have heard the joke of Alex saying that BBS doesn't make wheels. And then BBS got kind of mad, and so then they sent us wheels. So it actually worked out in our favor, which is awesome. Just kidding. But this wheel is actually only two months old, which is very, very exciting. I'm probably off camera, so don't get mad at me. I'm back. And I'm going to open this up with a flathead, because yet again, not trusted with sharp objects. Gels, talking to you. Sharp objects, I'd really like one every once in a while. I'm actually gonna set this down on the ground so I don't make a mess. And so, let's go into this here real quick. So this wheel here, made in Germany. You can tell because of the box. Now as I open up this one, I'm gonna leave the cover on it, and I'm gonna argue that I bet you it's upside down here, but we're gonna open it up anyway. Oh, there you go. So this wheel is only two months old. All right, CCR, 20 by nine and a half. I'm looking back at the box, five by 120. So here, let me just learn you some things. No, BBS didn't decide just to randomly candy cane the rim of their wheel. This is actually a shipping protection kind of cover that you put on it so that you don't have to worry about your uh, wheel getting all messed up in shipping. Now, I will say this, something that's very, very common besides me struggling to take this stuff off, is a lot of times in life, people make mistakes. Those mistakes can be thinking that season eight of Game of Thrones was any good. That could be people thinking that The Matrix Reloaded was actually that good. Steve might be getting mad at me for both claims. Um, another mistake that people sometimes make is curbing their wheels. They love going through drive throughs they love driving their super lowered cars or cars in general, really close to things, and then they end up curbing their wheels. You cry, I cry, we cry together. So, BBS knows that, and because they care, you can actually also get this little rim protector, which is exactly what I peeled off so that you can see it, and it's removable, too. So what happens is it actually protects the wheel from curbing, and then you can actually get it replaced. Now, this comes in red, too. Now, personally, I'm a much bigger fan of when the rim protector lies hidden in the wheel, so I would keep it that way, but they also offer like a red. If you prefer something a little bit fancier, it's completely up to you. Now, just looking at the wheel, it's very, very interesting because looking at it in the light kind of provides a little bit of a two different designed wheels depending on the way that you look at it. You have almost like a submerged wheel design in what looks like a darker paint and then you have this more forward facing. Now it looks like the machining on this more forward facing design and the fact that this second design is actually set in a little bit is what gives it that depth. So I think that's actually very very neat considering that this is only a nine wide, nine and a half wide. So we deal with a lot of low offset stuff. So we say it like it's a big thing, but considering that this is a flatter designed wheel, it actually looks really proper. And then you can kind of see the little things about this wheel that make it a BBS wheel. I think the most important is obviously you have the BBS embossed right there. You also have, if I remember correctly, there is a little piece here that says made in Germany and I'll flip it around for you. So this is made in Germany right down here. It's just like a nice little touch. The thing is that I like about it though is that it doesn't, again, it doesn't stick out a ton. There's nothing really that takes away from the wheel. You don't see like super loud words or different colors, different contrasting things that argue with the whole design of the wheel. So in case you guys aren't seeing what I'm seeing, you have the recessed kind of design here, which is like the single five spoke kind of peeking through here. Then you have your more prominent double Y spoke. Now something that's really cool is that We've seen wheels that have done this in the past, but they, they mill out sections, and that's called back milling. And the back milling, from a BBS standpoint, was originally to shave weight. And well, a lot of people realize that it has also looked really cool. So when BBS went into it, they went into it from a function standpoint to save weight. And you can see that on the bigger spokes here, which they'll probably put some B-roll on. Um, but it also serves a function standpoint, and it also serves an aesthetic standpoint, which if that's your thing, that's absolutely awesome. For us, the reason that I like it though is because with the Y spokes being bigger and a little bit chunkier, you need something to give it kind of like a thinning out almost. And I think that that design, especially with this wheel, helps give it that depth that it needs to not just be so, I don't wanna say fundamental, but actually helps give it more of like a sport-esque style. Last but not least, we have another wheel made in Germany. I'm putting it this way so that you guys can't see it yet. And then 
I'm putting the box this way so I can reference what we're talking about here. So this is the CIR 19 by 10. Now this wheel's been out for a couple years now. So taking a look at this, this is like, for me, this is the BBS wheel. Like when I think about BBS, I know you guys are like the LM, the RSS, stuff like that. But when I look at it, especially in the newer, I see a lot of this. And you can see BBS just through and through with the design. Now first off, just taking a look at the wheel, I can tell you that this has in some insane big brake clearance. The massive BBK on this is absolutely astounding from anybody that has upgraded brakes on their car. Now this specific one I believe is a 5 by 112 so again Euro bolt pattern but you're going to see this in a lot of 5 lug applications because that's just what it is. Now when I go back over here you're going to see the back pad, the shaving here for you which is pretty neat. You're also going to see the rim protector talking about again. Let's see if I can peel it off in one fell swoop. Oh, am I going to do it? Oh, oh, yes. It's like peeling off a piece of plastic on top of like your phone and you get a brand new phone. We did it guys, we did it. This has the rim protector on it as well. Taking a look at this, I gotta take a peek at it before I can keep talking about it. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five. So five spoke, it's a double five spoke, it's a Y split, concave as all heck, I love it. It's got the made in Germany here on the inside here. I would call it a lip, but it is a one piece wheel so some people get mad at that. Here's something I enjoy about this wheel, specifically. Because when you look at it, it's not super aggressive, it's not super in your face, besides the fact that you can see the big brake clearance just screaming out of it. One thing I really enjoy is the actual center of the wheel. So if you look at it, you're gonna notice that there's a lot of character in the center of the wheel. You can see that a lot of design is put into it, but not in an aggressive way, but just seeing how far the spokes bend into where your lugs or maybe your bolts would actually go is, is really cool. And it's an insanely thin part of the wheel. You don't really notice it unless you're where I am right now. But a lot of times when you're looking at a lot of wheels, the center of the wheel is chunky. I mean, it's a big boy and there's a lot of weight around that chunkiness. And so to see how thin they managed to get the actual mounting surface of this wheel, especially with the lug holes being so close to the exposed area, is something that's really nice. It's just something that's different. And of course, you know, if you end up going into Taco Bell and running into a curb, you got yourself a nice ring protector. And you're looking at this one being flow form as well. Now, if you guys don't remember what flow form is, it's when you have the actual face of the wheel is going to be cast or low pressure cast, but then the barrel of the wheel is then used, uh, spun at a high rate of speed. There's rollers on it, rolls out, the uh, rolls out the metal. It aligns the grain structure within the actual alloy and actually increases the strength. It reduces weight because you're shaving it through the actual barrel of the wheel. So a lot of people are using that technology now, but one of these, these guys have been using it since like the late 90s for quite a long time and it results in actually a very lightweight wheel. So that helps, especially if you guys are focused on both function and form, which I know there's a couple of you out there that are focused on function and form, and this is for you. So we have the CIR, we have the CCR, and then of course we have my wife here. So we're not even gonna talk about this. This actually isn't gonna make it back to the showroom. The LM is gonna just stay in my possession forever. Now, honestly, all of these have very different purposes in my eyes, depending on what you're looking at. So you have the LM, two piece forged, made in Japan, You've got these two bad boys over here, made in Germany, flow form, two months old, two years old for the design. So BBS is gonna keep telling me to stuff my mouth so that I stop telling them that they don't make any new wheels because that's just the matter of it. Very interesting, but very still BBS. So it's very cool to see kind of their designs lined up in different ways, but still carrying the same thing that makes BBS who they are. So if you guys are interested, sales play. If you guys are interested in actually taking a look at some of the BBS wheels that we have to offer, check them out, check them on out over at fitmentindustries.com or you can check the description link below. Let us know if you guys are running BBS wheels or if you wish you were. And we have three wheel samples here and you're like, Alex, when are we going to get the next? Well, we will have you know that we made friends at BBS and so we'll be getting more wheels in house for us to review, take a look at, and of course answer your questions on. Our biggest goal here is to help you guys understand the BBS name and if you're interested in their wheels and some things that kind of make them special and different. So let us know in the comment section below what wheels you wish we could get our hands on so that we can go bug BBS and be like, hey guys, the most expensive ones that you really don't want to, can we have those ones? That'd be really neat.
In all honesty though, we're super stoked to have these wheel samples in house. Let us know if you guys have any questions on the brand. I'm Alex from Fitment Industries. We will see you later. Peace.